Dear viewers, now we will be learning about ERCP. What is this ERCP? This is endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. And what is this all about? It's a diagnostic and interventional procedure which is used both endoscopes and fluoroscopy. This is a special type of x-rays. And in this examination, it's an interventional type of thing. And what are we looking at? The target is the biliary tree and the pancreatic duct. And basically, what, what has been done? We, we have to pass an endoscope from the oral cavity of the patient. It follows the full length of the esophagus. Then it reaches to the stomach. And after going through the stomach, it enters into the duodenum. We all know in the second part of the duodenum, there is an opening and this opening is ampulla of wear. And from this opening, we introduce a special type of tube and then we can inject the contrast to see the whole biliary tree, the extrahepatic part of the biliary apparatus. Why this procedure has been performed? If someone has any obstruction occurring within the pancreatic duct or the common bile duct. So let's look at this fluoroscopic image. First, we need to identify the prominent bony landmarks. So right now we are looking at the bodies of the corresponding vertebrae, which I'm just highlighting it. So give you an idea about how and where we are. So now after that, let me draw for you the location of the duodenum. The duodenum is somewhere here. And there you can see there are two tubes which are nicely visible to us. Now let's take one by one. First, I will take up the common bile duct. Now, primarily what has been done with the help of this instrument, I can, let me draw it for you. This duodenoscope, which has come all the way from the oral cavity, a catheter has been inserted. And then a contrast material is being injected. And this contrast material has highlighted the complete extrahepatic biliary apparatus for us. So let's start from the top. There you can see very easily Within the substance of the liver, what are we looking at? We are looking at the hepatic ducts. And these hepatic ducts, the place where they join, they are making what? I'll be using a different color for that. When they join, they, they are given a different name. Let's label one by one. So this is my right hepatic duct and this is my left hepatic duct and when these ducts they join together this is my common 
hepatic duct. And now you can see very clearly there is a lobular structure and this lobular structure is located in the right side and that's nothing but the gallbladder. This is my gallbladder and this gallbladder what it does the job of the gallbladder it stores and concentrate the bile which has been released by the liver and then it has different part a body and a fundus so let's label these individual parts of the gallbladder this is the fundus part This part is the body and this is the neck of the gallbladder. From there onwards, we have a duct. And this duct it continues and it joins what? It joins my common hepatic duct. And this duct, we call it cystic duct. And once this cystic duct and common hepatic duct they join together. Now they are making what? This structure. And that is my, let me draw it completely down. And this is my CBD. What is this CBD? CBD is common bile duct. It is also known as bile duct, whatsoever you like to say. Now what are we left with? Now we are left with another duct and let's draw it. And there you can see This duct is not straight. And it's running towards my pancreas. So that's my pancreatic duct. And it carries through these numerous channels the secretion of the pancreas and this green one is my pancreatic duct and now the place where this pancreatic duct and this bile duct they open into my second part of the duodenum that is known as ampulla of water and this ampulla of water it opens in the second part of the duodenum and the place where this Ampulla of water is opening, is guarded by a sphincter, and that is sphincter of Audi. And this is a landmark where my foregut becomes the midgut. So now let's quickly recap 
two hepatic ducts, the right and the left. They join to give us what? Common hepatic duct. This is my common hepatic duct. And common hepatic duct, after joining with the cystic duct, we get what? Common bile duct. And then this common bile duct is running downwards. And there you can see from the pancreas, we have this pancreatic duct, which is coming and joining this common bile duct. And both of them opens into the second part of the duodenum. We have another very important duct and which is visible within this cholangiogram. Let's see it here. And if you can pay attention, you can see there is another duct which has been seen going towards my duodenum, second part of the duodenum. And this is what I'm making. This is my accessory pancreatic duct. So now this intervention is used, this diagnostic test is used to inject the contrast where, where we can have obstruction within the common bile duct or within the pancreatic duct. Let's say if there is a calculus, a stone which has stuck in the lumen, this extra hepatic biliary apparatus. Now it is preventing and as a result, the patient develops obstructive type of jaundice or there is any narrowing, any stricturing, any tumor of either of these ducts. So this is a diagnostic test and that is known as with the name of cholangiogram and we use this duodenoscope to get into this uh, these ducts in a retrograde fashion. Thanks for watching.